hello guys once again you all are welcome to this channel so today i am going to tell you that how to write a resume for civil engineering and this is the most important topic which i am going to tell you today so the first of all what you need to write so the this is the sample of the resume writing so first of all you need to write your candidate name and whatever your name would be here like this now after that you need to write your mobile number so uh, you can add your mobile phone number here now after that email ID so You may thinking that what would be the font size for all of this? So for this you need to take your font size as a 11 see it here So my this font would be 11. So you may thinking that uh, this some below of this some Random line came so no need to worry. This is the word So that it comes like that so you can attach your photo passport size photo over here so i will say i will show you how it would be in pdf file also so now after that this is my career objective so you thinking that the what would be the font size for this so this font size would be 16 so here you can see the font size is 16 so the one thing this is completely about the civil engineering resume writing so this is the completely for the civil engineers and now after that how to write like this so this comes under some some white color and this how you write it so for so you have a look here so I just delete this all right now my take the font size as a 16 here the 16 it is so now go for right here carrier objective so for that you need to take your this font would be sorry so take your font color so this would be your font color would be black now go for carrier objective ca carrier objective after that what you need to do now just make it here so this is your page layout just go for the backspace now make it as a bold here this is bold after that just go for insert go for the shape click it just go for the line and just click it this down bottom of the C and here you can see now just make a horizontal over here wherever you want to bring it you can and just leave it after that just go and click it in this so after that go for home and here you can see this would be color see right so you got it so here it comes like this but here the line is in the bottom but line is in the middle click it twice see this one is square box you can see just drag it wherever you want see in the same way here also now it has been here just take the this and insert it like this way you can go through this so the career objective is like that that much i have written so if you are a civil engineering means engineer mind this all now after that go for the academic details so academic details should be like this so how to take the table so go for the insert here the table it is so if you go and click it you, it will tell you how many rows and how many columns do you want so this is for the btech civil engineering if you go for the masters resume making so go for like this so here you may understand that how to do now for this degree so keep your higher degree first like degree duration university and University Old Institute, Board of Education, Specialization, CGPA, and Marks of 10, how much percentage you have got. So first of all, my OP2 is graduation and right now I am pursuing my VTEC. So I have joined in 2017 to I will relieve on 2021. So this is the batch. After that, fill everything like what is the college name, what will be the board of your education, what is what you are which branch which stream you are studying right now so I am my branch is civil engineering and I as I have told you this is about the civil engineering so 
7.446 GPA I got and this converted into percentage after that intermediate if you have did if you have done your diploma so or polytechnic you may write it here and your duration and your university or college and what is your board and what is stream you have taken how much CGP or marks you have got and finally your percentage so this is up to 10 after that internship and project so come 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 to this so in BTEC there would be a internship of one month so if you have did your internship in any kind of reputed company like LNT or someone like and something like that so you please mention it here so that will be very helpful for your recruitment in any kind of company and project so generally during the four years of BTEC civil engineering you may have some kind of minor or mini project so I have did my minor project as a uh, determining the highest strength of concrete cube as well as the concrete cylinder so if what you have done please mention it here for your recruitment process so after that what type of technical skills do you have so please mention it so if you are a civil engineer you must have AutoCAD knowledge total station ETAPS Revit architecture and this is the common for all internet ability so most of the people nowadays surfing with this and running with this so achievements during BTEC or or throughout your education life what type of achievements have you got so I have got the achievement like I have got a merit certificate from means uh, from tricky English grammar and I got the same thing from AutoCAD design for drafting from Autodex I got the certificate from Autodex of AutoCAD in the same way Autodex from Revit architecture so certificate from grammar and punctuation after that what type of strength do you have I do not mention over here so if you have any kind of strength weakness hobbies so please mention it so generally what what will the people's strength so mostly the strength would be your self-confidence as well as your hard labor hard working and like this what are the hobbies so after that you can go for your personal details date of birth father's name mother names so after after all I am going to tell you about the language room. So your mother tongue would be of first and then after. So and finally any kind of disability no. Finally willing to re relocate. If you are able to recruit, recruit any kind of companies job. So they will ask you like LNT is the multinational company. They may ask you where would you like to work. So if you are a civil engineer and tracer you need to say that as per the job recruitment I am ready to work anywhere of the country even outside of the country also after that declaration declaration is the most important for any kind of resume writing so resume will tell you that the over these these statements or these kind of information which you have mentioned over here that is completely true according to your experience that it says and after that place and this would be the signature of this candidate so if you have doubt on how to upload your signature in the resume then please comment me I will I will make a video on that and I will tell you each and everything so now after that I'm going to show you my PDF resume now you can see that this is this is the this is the final one this is the final format of PDF format of my resume I have did it like this so it looks quite good and if you write like this type of resume writing that will be good for you for your selection for your recruitment it would be better for your if you are a new and fresher civil engineering please write like this type of resume writing that would be your helpful for your recruitment process in any kind of reputed company if you like this video please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon for getting more updates regarding our channel and for your knowledgeable tutorials thanks for watching this